everyone would surely die. We'll come back to that, but first, friction may not seem that important, but without it, our world would nearly come to a halt. We wouldn't be able to write, the lack of friction would keep any ink or graphite from coming off on the page, we wouldn't be able to use matches to start fires, we would barely be able to pick them up at all. Things would get much, much worse from here. We wouldn't be able to walk, but we would also be able to move for very long periods of time over long distances due to the lack of friction slowing us down. We owe our ability to walk almost entirely to the friction between the soles of our shoes and the ground. Without it, we might just look like video game characters experiencing some lag. If we were able to find something to push off of, we could move almost indefinitely until we ran into something. That means you could stand on a highway, push off from your car, and just keep moving as long as you'd like. But good luck stopping. Stopping yourself from moving would likely involve smashing into something really hard. Not only would there be a lack of friction between surfaces, there would also be a lack of air resistance due to the loss of molecular friction. If you pushed off of something with a small acceleration, you would continue accelerating until you hit something. Stopping yourself would be easy compared to stopping other objects like cars. Engines in cars would theoretically work, but brakes wouldn't. So if we wanted to drive anywhere, we would have to plan on getting in an accident every time we wanted to park. None of that matters, however, because you couldn't even drive. Say goodbye to any sort of traction between your tires and the ground. Your car's engine could theoretically still work like we mentioned, and it would likely still turn your car's wheels, but that's about the extent of it. So when friction stops working, you'll be stuck wherever you are, unable to pick up anything or start your car. But you could move endlessly with a small push, which means traveling across the world with almost no energy. That doesn't sound too bad, but it gets much, much worse. If you were able to survive in this world for any length of time, you would soon starve. Soil wouldn't be able to adhere together with the loss of friction, which means that the entire global agriculture system would practically grind to a halt. Every building held together with screws or nails would soon fall apart as friction is the main force keeping these fasteners in place. So we couldn't walk, drive, pick anything up. We would starve and most buildings would collapse. Maybe someone could survive all of this, but it gets much, much worse. Meteors, yes, meteors. They wouldn't burn up in the atmosphere due to the lack of molecular friction. So extinction causing events would be plausible on the daily. Anything that entered the Earth's atmosphere would almost surely hit the Earth's surface at astronomical speeds. Terminal velocity would be a thing of the past without friction, so objects would continue to accelerate until impact. Knowing this, something as small as a penny could wipe out a neighborhood. NASA estimates that in the last 20 years, an asteroid between 3 feet and 60 feet in size has entered the Earth's atmosphere less than every two weeks. They currently all burn up thanks to friction. If that friction suddenly disappeared, it would be a waiting game. In all likelihood, all of humanity would be wiped out within a matter of weeks to years. Let's step back for a moment and think about the positives. Our cars wouldn't overheat. We wouldn't get those nasty rope burns. We could take trips across the country or even to the store with just a small push off the wall. That is, if we didn't rapidly smash into something on the way there. But back to the terrible side effects. To go further, we have to look even deeper into the universe as it currently exists. We have to look into the quantum. Friction is one of the main cohesive forces between atoms and particles. Nearly everything around us is held together thanks to friction on a molecular and quantum level. Without friction, materials would have almost no resistance to shearing forces, and the world would become a formless, homogeneous, featureless blob. Instantly. The only thing that could cause variations on the planet would be gravity and the laws of thermodynamics. The world would be just a little bit gloomy. 
So, when it comes to understanding what would happen if friction suddenly disappeared, you have to weigh the positives and negatives. We could travel across the country with ease, but we would also be an amorphous blob no different than anything else in the cosmos. While it may seem like friction is a bad thing, without it, everyone would surely die. <laughs>